Over here, over here, over here. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, it's about 1 p.m. on uh, Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. Uh, that cow has a little bit of fur missing on her tail there. A lot of flies too. And we're moving them out of the pond area. I left them here for two moves um, because I was not happy with how much they were eating. Meaning they're not eating as much as I thought they should. And I'm moving them on now. I'm going to go see if I can find some of their manure. Um, but the forage here, it looks like there's a lot of goat weed and there is. Not as much as last year. I imagine as we get closer to September and as we move to this next section, let me show you that. That kind of surprised me. Um, so this is the lane that they walk down to get to the water at the other end. <clears throat> Hopefully they're all trained to do that and they know where the water is. But you can see here it's just a field of goat weed, just tons of goat weed in this one spot. I think last year we had quite a bit of goat weed. No, I don't think this particular area had a lot of goat weed. But north of there we had a lot of goat weed. And south of here we had a lot of goat weed. It's just like the goat weed's growing where it didn't grow last year. So I imagine the goat weed's, uh, you know, just finding spots of ground it likes and then uh, destroying the chances of the goat weed growing that piece of ground again. I don't know for sure what's going on with the goat weed or what its purpose in nature serves. But I had a couple questions coming out here this morning. Number one, do the cows look full? Yeah, they look full. They look like they're getting plenty to eat. Are the cows eating the right amount of grass, not too much, not too little. And so, um, based on my observations, they are eating too little. They are not eating enough. Um, there's a lot of places that they missed. And I, I'm just not happy with the amount of grass they're eating. They need to eat more grass. Um, and the third question is, so with the animal health, the grazing, and now the manure. So let's find some manure patties. And I've already seen some that suggests the manure is just fine. Um, so for my particular pasture in 2024, it looks like during the summer we do not need a um, protein supplement. This is uh, the worst one I've seen so far right here. That's probably two or three inches tall. Uh, nice little dimple in the middle there. This one's about the same height two or three inches tall and then over here you can see it's just it's really runny they're finding something out here that causes them to make and runny manure and it's not just one or two of them it's like a good 80 percent based on what I've seen so far so either they've all got worms oh we got a cow back there let me get that cow out I don't know how that cow got back there is that young 20 that probably is that's not good Because I closed that up last night. Um, maybe last afternoon, so it's been 24 hours. Whoa! So I, I, we may have lost the calf. If that calf didn't get fed for 24 hours, that calf is not going to be healthy. Um, yeah, I didn't. I checked. I went back here and I checked. I looked for any cows. I didn't see any, so we closed it up. So. Whoa! She probably lost her calf. I was thinking about Young 20, how she's not going to breed back in April. And I was thinking of just getting rid of her because she's off schedule for me. Um, let's see if she lost her calf. Nope, she's with the calf. Excellent. So she and the calf are safe good okay so let's get them back with the rest of the cows come on young 20 let's go with the rest of the cows stop being a stranger so she was with the calf there's plenty of grass back here there's water as well so I'm not concerned at all come on come on Oof. You let me touch you again <laughs> probably not let's go let's go back to the other cows Stop being by yourselves, okay? You've got family. Come on. There you go. Come on, let's go. Let's 
so young 20's got big bags that's good plenty of milk for this young one all right i don't want you to go this way i'm hearing sheep it might just be my regular sheep but i heard it coming from the south there Hey, 20, can you turn to your right there? Come on, buddy. There you go. That's right. Yep. Yeah, I think it's a sheep. I'll go check on them in a second. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn around. This way. Put, put. Put. Now let's go. Don't kick at me. There you go. Now if you stay behind the cow, she won't turn around. She still has something coming out of her back end. All right. There you go, lady. So yeah, I'm not um, too concerned about the manure at all. Um, I think that the diversity of forage here is why, let's do this one handed here, why they're getting enough protein um, in the summertime, because Bermuda grass is not great. It's good, don't get me wrong, um, but you're not going to be putting weight on with Bermuda grass. There we go. Did I get it? Nope. I deserve some kind of a award for doing this. Let me try it again with my right hand. This is not easy. <laughs> right, let me try this. get that up there. Let's push it back. <laughs> Come on, just get the hook in it. One more time. There we go. All right, so I'm not concerned about the health of the cows. Um, I am thinking of putting some back fencing up so they don't graze back to where they've been. Um, I'm not too concerned about that actually. There's so much grass back here that even if they did graze back here, it would be fine. Maybe when I get halfway down the row, I'll set up a back fence. Um, I think I'll do something like that. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, my goals for the cattle is get South Pole breed. Uh, I think I calculated 10 calves, or 10 moms. And then keep all the steer. So every year we get five steer. And then we keep them for two years after they're, they're weaned. So 10 cows and 10 steer. And we'll harvest five of them a year. And that's about all I can do on this uh, 80 acres. If half of the animal units are in sheep and half are in cows. Um, if productivity goes up, like I'm confident managing uh, one AU per acre, then we can double the number of cows to 20. Um, and that would just involve keeping the heifers for two years and uh, waiting until they're mature enough to breed. So. That is where I'm at. Um, I will have to replace cows with heifers. So maybe I keep 12 cows. And every year I get rid of two of them. And keep the best. No, I keep 14 cows. No, 12 cows. And then keep the best four heifers. So get rid of the worst two. And then uh, we'll always be running a little bit of surplus for the heifers that are waiting to get old enough to breed again. So um, one little note, um, I have a commentator that worked on a dairy farm. And they bred their calves, their heifers, so that they would give birth at 22 months, I think. And that sounds like something a dairy farm can do that I can't. Um, I don't have as much control over the cows as they do. Um, they get to see them every day. They get to get close and touch them. Um, I don't. Um, so I'm just going to stick to the annual schedule. So... If they're not bred at 12 months, they'll be bred at 24 months, right? Um, and so 24 months, two years old, uh, after they're born, 
they'll give birth to their, their first calf. And that way I don't have to pull the heifers off because they're too young to breed in that first year. Because uh, they're born like, let's say in April, I put the bulls on from July to September. So the bulls leave when they're five months old. And so I don't have to worry about separating the young heifers out at all or anything like that. So it's a little bit easier for me. Uh, plus I don't have as much control of the animals. So I can't like say that cow, I want to breed them right now. I can't do that. And having all the cows and calves on a schedule makes managing them a ton easier. You know, if all the calves are the same age, you know, one or two months, then you can just treat them as a group and things like that. So, but I am going to reduce the number of cows. I have like uh, 20 cows right now and I want to get down to 12 or 14. And this year I'm probably going to get rid of um, six or eight. I've already got my eye on two that I know are gone. One is 24 right there. And the other one is Blackie, uh, no, num young 20, because her calf won't be born in April. She'll I'll have to wait another year for her calf and it won't be. Um, so I'll just be holding on to her for no reason. I don't, I don't plan on keeping any heifers to age up unless they're really beautiful heifers. Um, but there's a couple that I have my eye on, but I'm not really convinced I'm going to keep them. So guys, that's what I got for you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.